Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of mostly cup competitions and mostly Austria this time, this time around. The wait continues for Lusk and yeah, I'm not in the cheeriest of moods. I'm still wearing Lusk because once a fan, always fan, so uh, you gotta stay with them. But I think of all the cup losses, what makes it not hurt that, 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 that much is it. That my expectations going into it were already really, 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 really low. Really low. Um, it was not helped by the fact that when I saw the bookmaker's odds that it was, I think, 5 to 1 for Lusk winning, something like that. So, uh, okay. I knew. Salzburg, full squad, Lask, lots of injuries and it didn't help that uh, midweek and we'll I'll show the results in, in, in a bit. Um, they had two more injuries. So really everything going down, the form of Lask going down. So my hopes were not that high, but I knew that if there's one team in Austria that can challenge it because we have the tools, we just don't have a full squad. We, we're not a full, full strength, it would have been Lask. And yeah, uh, when the final, if this would have played in March, I think I would have felt a lot more optimistic than now in May. I hate this long wait. So my anticipation uh, was not that high. And then with history also behind us, uh, yeah, was not going to happen. Yeah, let's go to the cup final. Let's go to the cup, cup final. i quickly tell you what happened. Uh, it was a game, you know, whenever Lask plays against Salz Salzburg, it's the most intense type of game. It's not necessarily beautiful, but it's very, very, very intense. Lot of running, lot of pressing, lot of uh, collisions and, and, and so on. There's not a lot of ball possession. This is how the game went. And I have to say for 30 minutes, uh, Lars could keep the game really, really open. They, but they, you, you, you say, they, are, they are definitely about the first ones to flinch because uh, twice in the builder play, playing it out, they made horrible passes that should have led to South Salzburg, especially one where um, I don't know who it even was, doesn't matter. Uh, he was clear in front of goal and he wants to head it back to play it uh, nice. So uh, that was a big let off. Uh, Lask had, I think, one good chance that was cleared off, off, off the line. I, they didn't show a replay for, 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 for that. I mean, the. Uh, whoever was managing the whole ca the ca cameras, they were so in love with their replays and their overhead cameras that you uh, very often really forgot what was happening. And then the blow came just before the half, just when you thought nil nil, and it, it was really if you go nil nil in the half, I really thought this is a. But just before for the half, there's a free kick given. It's not very well defended by Eggestein. It goes all the way to the out, Ulmer Kroll crosses in, Daka actually ducks behind it and then Berisha, all the defenders running around and Berisha puts it into the net. 1-0. And I knew it now it will be a tough task. I heard the first 10 minutes of the second half. I think Lask had a chance. They had one huge chance, especially in the 55th when Michal in the box he can take a touch to pull it even better and takes a shot and exactly at the goalkeeper. And I knew if you want to win it, this was your, your chance. 67 to nil uh, through Aronson. They had a three on two and that was the game. At that point, I didn't even watch uh, really any, anymore. Uh, I got that uh, last goal. He saved the penalty and I got that uh, third. Uh, a third goal was scored by Mwepu laid on. With 2-0, the game was done, done and dusted. Although the fan in me, you know, looking at it, I didn't expect much. However, the, the build-up to it, and this is the one, the, the one thing, is it's this tease. Everyone says, yeah, this is one game only, you can give it your all. Then all over Linz, the fans have put up um, uh, banners supporting the team. We really are behind you, all Linz wants to have to everywhere. Everywhere it was really uh, there was a lot of positive energy trying to be sent towards the team, uh, and then even the build up they say yeah if there's one team is last and I and one expert said yeah he, they will win in the penalty shootout seemingly he didn't take take into account that we cannot take penalties at the moment, so yeah. Uh, it was there, you know, this, this 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 feeling, but you know you're gonna get disappointed. And my favorite line is, "Will Lusk win the first title since we put a man on the moon?" 
And I thought to myself, yeah, the two biggest achievements in human history were putting the Americans putting a man on the moon and last breaking the monopoly on the Austrian titles of Vienna, the Viata Viennese monopoly in 65. Uh, uh, it's about the same thing. Oh, it's frustrating to be lost fans at time. Um, it is so typically lost. You know, I was at the cup final in 99, where they were the better team. Also against the preeminent team at the time, Sturmgast. They were the better team. They had the better chances. Uh, they made it to a penalty shoot, and then your two best players missed the first two penalties. When you even go first, this is uh, Lusk is a big tease all, 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 all around. I mean, my favorite is we won a cup final. That's one that we were favored. We lost one on a coin toss because the referee said he has to pick up the coin. The coin came up for Lusk against Austria Vienna, and our captain picks it up. It's us, it's us, it's us. It was in 62, I think. I mean, crazy stories like that. I think, uh, and I, w I was thinking, what other team has a similar story? And I think, yeah, Spursy. Although Spurs are winning a little bit more. Uh, they at least, I mean, I know they had also a championship in the 60s or whatever, but I, and, and waiting, but at least they won FA Cups and whatever. Last case, they won a thing. Uh, yeah, second league titles. So, yeah. It is what well, well, it is. I, the one thing that's positive is at least there were no spectators allowed. So if they would, would have won it, this would have been really, 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 really sucky. So I hope we make it next year when there will be spectators and I will be there and then they will win it. So that's what I said. With all that, it actually doesn't really matter what happened in the midweek that as a better team, they again failed to score, last cannot score at the moment. Uh, they should have won, they probably should and needed to win against Sturm to have any chance for a good chance to have a third, um, which probably will also not happen at the moment. I'm actually hoping either you become third, because this means going into Europa League directly, or go sixth, because fourth you need to play uh, Europa League qualification, for fifth you need to play additional playoffs, and I want the season two to be over for sixth. You are freed of any European responsibilities, which might not be the worst thing, especially anyway, since we're building a stadium and we have no stadium to play European games in. So I actually, I know it sounds crazy, but I actually think it would not be the worst thing if we just could concentrate for a season again entirely on, 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 on the league. So here is, as the table stands currently, uh, chances, yeah, I mean, there is a chance to go third. Let's uh, look at the expected standings. You see, uh, there is a chance to go third, but they are currently in fourth spot, which, yeah, uh, given with all the injuries and so on, is probably all right. Let's leave Austria for a little bit. Ah, oh, now we have one more round. That's a must-win game that Lask has. 2.30 against Tirol, and this will be a tough game to win. Uh, Sturm Graz against Salzburg. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know, you see how it goes. Sturm uh, Salz Salzburg now has won the title. They probably will lose to Sturm, Sturm Graz because this is how sucky those Salzburg is. And I think Rapid winning against Wolfsburg and the one and two are done and uh, three probably after that round two. German Cup, I didn't see much, but I, or at, at, at all, I just followed the results. The well, what I heard is that Werder Bremen against Leipzig was a really boring game, but it came alive in the, in the overtime uh, when Huang Hee Chan, former Salzburg player, uh, makes it 1-0 follow for Leipzig it just before, just at the stroke of half time, Bittenkut can equalize and then and uh, he was headed for penalty shoot, but Forsberg gets the winner again. Assisted by Huang Hee Chun. So uh, that was uh, seemingly an exciting overtime pe uh, period. And then Dortmund completely outclassing Horstein Kiel. Horstein Kiel said that he's actually really doing well in the second Bundesliga. But within half an hour, they were 4 0 down. Gio Reyna scoring two, Reus, Hazard, and then Bellingham in the 41st. It's 5 0, and the game was done and dusted. We have Leipzig Dortmund. That's a pretty interesting final, the one that I'm actually looking forward to. And I think this, this is a rather even, even affair. So uh, that might be actually one of the rare cup finals that I'm looking forward to watching. Uh, in the Bundesliga, we have the return tomorrow <laughs> of Hertha, who has not an incredible program. They have to play, I think, every three days. And they have to play, uh, I think, four or if not five games. On the th they play on Monday against Mainz. It's the third. Then on the sixth, they play at home to Freiburg. Then on the ninth, they have to play Arminia Bielefeld. Then they have another Schalke on the 12th. And then they play against on the 15th 
uh, the the next one I, I don't know who will play it's a pretty rough program and one where I would think that Hertha will have a really hard time I'm actually worried about Hertha the one against Mainz is already quite uh, intriguing then we have of course the Bundesliga round where you know there's a lot of stuff happening uh, for re relegation and probably also in the top four spots. We have another Dortmund Leipzig game have next weekend. So, and that matters too, especially for Dortmund. So, let's see how it goes. In any case, let me know what you thought of what I've been telling you. Maybe you can come up with a team that has not won a title in over 50 years, uh, but has achieved something very special by being the first team from whatever that country to not uh, to not be from the big powers as in Austria uh, in Austria Viennese teams have won the Austrian championship mostly due to that the Austrian championship uh, until World War II was a Viennese championship but until 65 there was no team outside of Vienna that has won any national title and the last wins both and since then in terms of titles in any case let me know about that. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Yeah, it was not the cheeriest one, but you know, it's my therapy. It's my therapy. And you know, I ended a little bit on positive note. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more cheery videos than this one. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.